。长难句看起来吓人呢、啊，其实只不过是两三个简单句的堆砌。你不用背任何的语法规则，看得懂简单句，你也一定能搞懂长难句。英语语法大道至简 ，Let's get started。A complete sentence must have at least a subject and a verb. For instance, in a sentence, she smiles. She is a subject, and smiles is a verb, forming a complete sentence. To extend a sentence, you can combine two sentences together. She smiles. She waves at me. She smiles and waves at me. Each sentence represents a main idea. Both ideas can stand alone, but may join with a conjunction like and, but, or. They are like two adults holding hands. Now look for the main ideas in the following sentences. It's a beautiful day in Abakadev, and the silly crocodile just woke up from a good night of sleep. <sighs> It's a beautiful day in Abakadev, and the silly crocodile just woke up from a good night of sleep. <sighs> It's a beautiful day in Abakadev, and the silly crocodile just woke up from a good night of sleep. He laughed as he tried to play with the butterflies that fluttered around him, and he seemed to love the fragrance of the flowers his mother gave him to hold. He laughed as he tried to play with the butterflies that fluttered around him, and he seemed to love the fragrance of the flowers his mother gave him to hold. He laughed as he tried to play with the butterflies that fluttered around him, and he seemed to love the fragrance of the flowers his mother gave him to hold. Nice. The structure has one complete sentence and at least one incomplete sentence. The two parts might be connected by words like because, since, which, although. They might also be joined by a comma. It's like a parent going out with a child. If you don't want to get lost, just focus on the main idea. For example, leaving her baby on a tuft of soft grass on the bank, she proceeded to take a small, quick swim. Leaving her baby on a tuft of soft grass on the bank, she proceeded to take a small, quick swim. The core sentence here is she proceeded to take a small, quick swim. It's a complete sentence. Leaving her baby on a tuft of soft grass on the bank is not a complete sentence. It offers additional information. Even without it, the main idea remains clear. Now, find the main parts in the following sentences. The mother walked a long time until they came to a lake. The mother walked a long time until they came to a lake. The mother walked a long time until they came to a lake. We have repeated the analysis, focusing on five measures: core inflation, unit labor costs, inflation dispersion, inflation expectations, and Google search behavior. You don't see it often in everyday conversations, but it's quite common in formal writing. This is a combination of the previous two. It has at least two complete sentences and one broken sentence. Just imagine a family interacting. She completed her literature review, but she still needs to work on her methods section, even though she finished her methods course last semester. Although he organized his sources by theme, he decided to arrange them chronologically, and he carefully followed the meal plan for organization. Wow! Great job! As long as you can notice the main parts of long sentences, you'll understand the overall meaning of any text. That's all for today's tutorial. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Happy learning! I'm Xiaoping Bao. Bye.